Hi, I'm Clint Carney from System Sin, and today we're going to make a pumpkin monster out of this fake pumpkin. Halloween's right around the corner, so it's as good a time as any to make some Halloween decorations. And I recently picked up this fake pumpkin from an arts and crafts store, and I'm going to endeavor to turn this into some kind of jack-o'-lantern creature, uh, complete with lights from the inside so that it can serve as a functional jack-o'-lantern as well. And we're going to see how it goes. I'm also going to be giving away the final product to one lucky subscriber, so stick around to the end of the video and I'll tell you how you can have a chance to win this, well, win what this will become. <laughs> All right, uh, let's go over some materials that we're going to be using. Well, first off, main material, this pumpkin. They've got these at like Home Depot and stuff. This one came from Hobby Lobby. I think Michaels might have them too. Uh, they're not hard to find. I've never cut into one of these before. I'm hoping it's hollow, but I kind of think it's not, in which case I'm gonna be scooping out a lot of foam if it's not, but we're gonna find out as we go. So this is the main material. Uh, then I'm gonna be doing some additional sculpting on top of it, and for that, I'm gonna be using this uh, two-part uh, clay, it's called epoxy sculpt. You mix these two parts together, and you can sculpt with it. I will post a link in the description below where you can find this stuff. Of course, there are other similar products, so you can use whatever one you like best. Um, I've got some uh, Liquitex Basics acrylic paints that we're gonna use. Finally, to light it up, we're just gonna go with uh, this little battery-powered tea lights. And yeah, because we don't wanna actually stick a candle in that thing, because it would probably Set on fire. Don't do that. Okay, let's, uh, let's build a pumpkin monster. So the first thing that I wanted to do was to drill out the bottom and kind of see if it was hollow or not. It turns out that it is not hollow. It's actually filled with styrofoam. So I have to go about carving that out. And oddly enough, I found a rock in the center of this pumpkin. Not kidding, there's a rock in the middle of it. So um, that was super fun to scoop that out. Uh, I recommend, if you are going to do this project, if you can find a pre-hollowed pumpkin, that's going to save you a lot of time. Anyway, uh, now that that's over, <laughs> I just drew a basic face on with a pencil. Uh, just something that I think would be kind of scary. I kept the eyes asymmetrical. And then I used this uh, utility knife to cut out the shapes. I wasn't too concerned with having super clean lines here because I knew I was going to be sculpting all around uh, the eyes and nostrils and mouth. And then uh, there was a bit of a seam line on the stem, so I just sanded that down real quick. And now I'm getting into the sculpting part. So this is epoxy sculpt. It comes in two parts. You just mix them together in equal amounts. and. Uh, then you can sculpt with it and it hardens on its own. It's really cool for like a job like this where um, it's just a one-off project. You don't have to mold it or anything like that. You're just sculpting right onto something. So it's uh, real fun to work with like that. Um, you can use water then to smooth out the, you know, smooth down the clay and smooth out wrinkles and things like that. And so I'm just uh, kind of making this face up as I go along, just uh, kind of figuring out what it's going to be as I sculpt. I like working like that. I like um, not really having a preconceived notion of what something's going to be until I begin. It's a lot of fun. So as you can see there, I actually used uh, raw pumpkin seeds for the teeth and I gave it uh, several rows of teeth, kind of like a shark. And uh, now that the sculpture is done, it's got to dry overnight. So I just thought I would pop some lights in just to uh, see how it was coming along. And I think it's looking pretty cool so far. So the next step is I take it outside and I spray it all over with Plasti Dip, which is like a uh, rubber spray, basically. And it's great for just making the uh, uh, kind of blending the sculpture in with the pumpkin base and it also gets rid of the seam lines a little bit which is pretty cool that's got to dry for a few hours and then i bring it in and i'm just using acrylic paints here to uh, paint it up i just threw some yellow in on the inside you're not really going to see the inside very much but if you do i didn't want it to be you know just 
styrofoam. <laughs> now I'm adding burnt sienna here, which is this orangish type color. And notice that I'm using my brush strokes. I'm just going up and down with it, trying to follow the contours of the pumpkin just to make it look natural. And I'm using very thin coats. I'm going to go back in and do a second coat of the same thing and just let those coats build up. But I also want a little of that black showing through as well because I really want the paint to kind of have this dynamic look and I you know, want you to be able to see all the different colors in it. Because if you look at a pumpkin, it's not just one color and I want this to look somewhat natural. <laughs> uh, now I take a little bit of uh, yellow and a brighter orange and I mix those together on a sponge and I just stipple that on all around the pumpkin and this just gives little highlights and breaks up the color even more as I go around. I even stipple some on the teeth there just to give them a little bit of a highlight and it is starting to come together now. I think he's beginning to look pretty cool. And then I just take a little bit of that bright yellow and just give the teeth a little final highlight then for the stem, uh, I just put on some burnt umber up there and a little bit of the uh, burnt sienna. And then uh, while it's still wet, I threw on this bright green and just kind of mix those all together to get more of a realistic uh, pumpkin stem color. And the final thing I did was I sprayed it all with a clear coat acrylic spray just to prevent the paint from chipping off. And here he is, uh, he came out pretty cool. I'm pretty happy with, with how it is. Let me know what you think in the comments and as I promised in the beginning, I am going to be giving this pumpkin away to one lucky subscriber. So this is what you have to do. The first step is to subscribe to the channel, of course, and then just leave a comment below and somewhere in your comment, use the sentence, give me that pumpkin. And <laughs> when this channel hits 10,000 subscribers, which is, it looks like it's far away right now, but I'm, my subscriber count's going up pretty fast, thankfully. So when we hit 10,000 subscribers, I'm going to put the names of all of the people that left Give Me That Pumpkin in the comments and draw it out of a hat. And whoever's name I draw, I will ship you this awesome pumpkin. Thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate all the comments and likes and everything, all the support you guys have shown my channel so far. Have a happy Halloween, and I'll see you in the next video.